Welcome to Info Live TV. I'm Donna Rudolph. Here's the news. A border guard soldier prevented a terror attack at an IDF outpost near Calcilia on Sunday. The soldier opened fire at a Palestinian man bearing a knife. The combat soldier on guard fired a warning shot, but the man rushed at him and began climbing the fence. The soldier fired at the Palestinian's lower body, injuring him moderately. He's currently being treated by IDF medics who say they will transfer him to security forces for interrogation once he's stabilized. The commander on the scene commented on the soldier and said troops had showed determination and proper conduct. The fifth anniversary this Saturday of the abduction of Israeli soldier Gilad Shalit has seen a burst of activity on all sides to negotiate his release. Egyptian security officials involved in the talks said that the approach by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's new envoy to the talks, David Maidan, could scuttle the negotiations and lead to Shalit's disappearance. The Egyptians said that Hamas negotiators, headed by the group's military chief, Ahmed Jabari, had responded to the Israeli approach with a clear threat that the talks would end and a deal for Shalit would be off the table. Noam Shalit, the captured soldier's father, said he knows of no new details or new proposal by Israel, including by Maidan. Shalit said he did not even know that Maidan had been speaking to Hamas. The natural gas explosion in the center of Netanya that claimed the lives of four people on Thursday night and injured about 90 others took place in a building in Atzmaut Square. Three young immigrants from France who were distributing Sabbath candles and an employee of a shawarma restaurant were killed in the explosion. Hundreds of members of the French community in Netanya attended the funerals Friday of two of the three French immigrants, 17-year-old Rebecca Mashad and 18-year-old Stacy Baruch. They were killed along with their friend, 18-year-old Rebecca Dorai. The fourth fatality was 28-year-old Mohammed Abu Attar from Kfar Kara in the Wadi Ara area in the north, who was also buried Friday. Dorai was buried today at noon in Netanya. The three young French women immigrated to Israel together four years ago, along with their families. Earlier Thursday evening, they had attended a regular class sponsored by the French-speaking community's Chabad branch near the site of the explosion. Afterwards, they went to eat with other friends and to distribute Sabbath candles on Atzmaud Square. Chabad Rabbi Yaakov Mazuz said the girls usually distributed candles on Fridays, but decided this time to do it on Thursday night. A fire blighted approximately 200 acres of open space and nature reserves on the Golan Heights on Saturday morning. While the cause of the fire remains unknown, the conflagration began alongside Road 888 near Moshev Chadnes and the Hexagon Pools Nature Reserve, from which visitors were immediately evacuated. The land damaged included segments of nature reserve territory, though the Nature and Parks Authority said that this damage was only a very small portion of the total damage. The Israel Defense Forces began a nationwide home front defense drill on Sunday to prepare security forces for an array of possible attacks. The exercise, codenamed Turning Point 5, includes a number of scenarios including a strike on a power plant, missiles being fired at targets across the country, and one of hackers breaking into key Israeli computer systems. Municipalities, government offices, schools, and kindergartens are to practice evacuating their buildings. Rescue services will also practice the evacuation of a geriatric hospital near Tel Aviv and of a factory housing hazardous materials. On Wednesday, all of Israel's 7.7 million citizens will be asked to participate. Sirens are scheduled to sound twice across the country in the morning and in the evening and residents have been asked to rush to protected rooms and shelters where they are to stay for 10 minutes. Thank you for joining us. I'm Donna Rudolph. See you tomorrow.